everyone, this is Leonie from My Passion for Paper. Today I would like to show you a configuration box that I created. I created this one for my sweet friend Joanne, who is J-Ho Clueless here on YouTube. And I hope she will like it. <laughs> I used the Prima Tea Time papers to uh, alter this configuration box and it came like this. So, this is what I came up with. I will show you the sides and the back first. I covered everything with the paper from the paper line and I used my uh, crafters workshop mask the reverse chicken wire and here's the back side and the other side so I guess we'll start at the top um, I have to hold it a little bit like this, I'm sorry I created this, uh, these three little boxes out of the paper from the collection and here I have a homemade rose and I covered everything with gesso and snow tags and here I have a small wooden butterfly with some pearls here in the center a cherry blossom here this is a fabric flower from my stash and here I have a corked vial with some pearls and a wooden thread spool and this beautiful scissors charm was given to me by Linda who is live right now here on YouTube thank you so much Linda and I colored most of the cherry blossoms with my distress ink they all they were all uh, white and this is another fabric flower from my stash this is a rose that I created out of the paper and here I have another fabric flower and I curled some uh, stamens stems I'm sorry some stems of the flowers I always keep them and I created this big pink flower and I covered it with gesso and snow tags and here I have some more flowers that I made I'm sorry I have to turn it this way this is a vellum rose and some more roses that I made and here's a little charm and it dangles like this and I um, took some paper from the collection and, oh I'm sorry <laughs> I covered it with uh, glossy accents and here I have another homemade rose and a dice and here I have a little corked file and I uh, did some chain I adhered some chain inside I was inspired for this by uh, Sabrina who is Crafty Chica 87 here on YouTube she, she used pearls um, and I thought it would be nice to use some chain and adhere it all the way around here and then at the end of the chain I have this little cute key here so and here I have a bobbin and some more fabric flowers from my stash this is a Melissa Francis resin piece and some pearls and here's the cork from the vial and some homemade roses and oops <laughs> Here I have an altered domino piece and this domino piece was given to me, me by Anna who is a Fayas72 here on YouTube. Thank you so much Anna. And here I have a beautiful key charm and some pearls and another homemade rose. And I have some tiny rosette trim and I colored it with my Distress Ink Bundled Sage, I believe it's called. And here I have a big vellum rose that I created and some more roses. I made these ones out of cardstock. And here I have a little, uh, I don't know how you call it, but <laughs> I know what it is in Dutch of course, but not in English. Uh, but I covered it with um, gesso and snow tags. And here's a scrabble piece with the J for Joanne and some bling and a little piece of lace here 
And here's a diamond shaped bubble and some pearls and another homemade rose that I created out of cardstock and I altered the clothespin here. This is my all time favorite charm, the spoon. And here I have a gardenia from Wild Orchid Crafts and some pearls and another cherry blossom. And I totally scrap lifted this idea to use a, gla a glass chess piece from Miranda with Miss Liberty 25. And here I have a Tim Holtz clock key and some more homemade roses. And here's a telephone that I covered with um, gesso as well and some snow tags. There's snow tags all over the place. And this lace is from my stash. And here I have a light bulb and a bingo piece from Tim Holtz. And this is a foam flower from my stash. And this is also a flower from my stash and I colored it with uh, Distress Ink, Bundled Sage as well. And a little Martha Stewart butterfly. And here I have some more homemade roses and some pearls. And here's a cameo that I purchased uh, at an online store here in Holland. They sell all kinds of um, small things and I finally found some cameos as well. And here's a wood veneer heart and a spool with a piece of crochet uh, doily around it and a pearl on top of it. And let me see another small butterfly. I made another rose out of pink cardstock and here I have another chess piece and this is a, a porcelain rose or a clay rose that I uh, that was given to me by Linda Levart now thank you so much Linda and here I have a Tim Holtz pen nib that says oops memoirs and this beautiful lace here uh, was given to me by Annie who is Miss Garden Grove One here on YouTube thank you so much Annie and this white bling uh, trim was given to me by Linda thank you so much Linda I had a lot of fun using all kinds of goodies that were given to me by all these wonderful ladies so I had a lot of fun altering this configuration box and I tried to make it as shabby chic and romantic as I could. <laughs> I'm not used to work with uh, pastel colors but I had a lot of fun and the tea time papers are absolutely gorgeous so I hope you like it Joanne. Um, I hope you all like it as well. Hey, the sun is shining here finally. <laughs> we had a long cold winter and finally there's some sunshine so I'm happy. <laughs> And I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.